Hey everyone, this is Will, and in this video, we're gonna talk about filtering and remapping using Oracle 4X series. Now, this is a particularly useful feature in complex MIDI routing scenarios, either on stage or in the studio, and it allows you to filter out MIDI messages on specific MIDI channels, uh, specific MIDI commands, and allows you to remap those messages to different uh, MIDI channels. Let's dive in and take a look at how to make this happen. So we're gonna go to the filter and remap page here, and I wanna go and say, let's filter out specific MIDI messages coming in, uh, coming from our MIDI controller connected to DIN1. So on the input side here, we're going to click DIN1, and we want to say, let's filter out uh, all node off messages on channel 10. So I'm going to go to where node off and 10 uh, intersect here and click that button, and that's going to filter out node off messages on channel 10. Now let's say for some reason I wanted to filter out uh, all pitch bin messages uh, from all MIDI channels. So I can go over here to the right and click all, and that's going to filter all of those out. Now I could also remap messages. So while we're here, let's keep working with the MIDI controllers connected to DIN1. Let's click remap. And let's say we wanna take program change messages that are coming on channel two, and that would interfere with my current setup. So I'm gonna take them from channel two to channel 10. So we're gonna select this and we're gonna say program change messages. We're gonna take channel two. So you could see I clicked where channel two was and we're gonna send this to channel 10. Now that's a pretty complex thing that I just did that I just clicked with a couple mouse clicks to make happen. And you can see how simple and easy it is to follow through that process. Now that's, I did that to uh, the, the input, things I'm receiving from my interface, but I could do the same thing with the output. So I could click on the output and let's say, uh, let's filter out everything that's going out of RTP1 and so we'll go here and let's turn off all of our node, uh, note on messages. I don't know why again, but let's say we do that. So we're going to click all here and now I'm filtering on the output of RTP one, all note on messages on all channels have now been filtered out. And again, as always, I could click remap as well too, if I wanted. Now, if you're like me and you're prone to make mistakes or prone to, uh, get, uh, be looking at something and get lost and figure out what did I mean to do here and need to zero out and get back to normal then you can go to, let's say we're in this filter tab here, we can go back here and click clear all, and that's going to clear everything out for that specific input. And it's going to allow us to start fresh and start back where we started. So that's a look at filter and remapping using Oracle for X series, which again, we could do some pretty complex things very, very simply because of uh, how well designed and well created Oracle for X series is. Now, if you have any questions about how to do this uh, or things that were not covered in this particular video. As always, feel free to reach out to iConnectivity support. We've included the link and information on how to contact them in the description of this video. Thanks so much for watching, everybody, and we'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye.